Hello folks, welcome along to the vlog, Chesterfield Canal in all its glory, as viewed now from uh, from the brewery doors, the mural, hey, tent still up, uh, but me and Stu this afternoon have been working on another project, look at them bad boys, so it's been quite windy today as you can probably tell, and I didn't want to uh, film it's obviously listen to that wind it's going to ruin it a bit but there we are the new brew shed signs are up and on they need a little bit of trimming a little bit of flashing a little bit of uh, tidying up on the tile work we're just going to finish off the tiles up to there but I'm really pleased with how they look and it's visible from underneath whereas the other vinyl ones were pretty tricky to see you still not took that hat back to change it for the right size. Yeah, this one's mine from the van. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm very, very pleased with that indeed. So, seeing as uh, we had a windy day at work putting the signs up, I thought I'd give you an update on the uh, the brood box. So these little ladies, oh God, I hope the ladies are seven days today, give or take depending on which one's which, but they started to hatch seven days ago today. So we've got seven days and six days old between the two, but they're growing massively already. I mean, they look twice the size. Look at how confident they are. We've had to raise the uh, little brood heater up twice. He is ready for another raise, actually. Look at the size of this young lady. He's going to go up. She, I was going to call it a boy. That's it now. You've, I've ruined it. You're a boy. But the size of them. I think it's brilliant. Just how quickly they grow. So, it'll not be long before we've got the garden ready. And uh, the old chicken coop is going to go inside the new chicken coop. So we can acclimatise the two breeds together. Or the two... Uh, not necessarily breeds, but uh, generations of bird together without causing any fights, hopefully. And then slowly we'll let them out into the shared coop area when these are obviously big enough to fend for themselves at about 17, 18 weeks. So we should see that about the same time when the pubs open, I reckon. Yes. But look how quickly they grow, and I'm telling you, they get through food really quickly. Let's try to jump up on there, look. So uh, as they, they progress, this will come off, and we'll replace it with a wire mesh, and uh, we'll eventually move them outside into the shed, where they'll just need checking on once or twice a day. But they should be able to fend for themselves out there, as long as they've got a heat source drinking water and food but in a week's time we're a week old now i think two weeks to three weeks they'll be big enough to go outside and then after maybe uh, five six seven weeks they'll probably not need the heater but we'll leave it in there just in case but usually they'll have their main feathers through by then Look how excited they all are though. There's a bit of light you see, they think it's daytime again. It's actually dark outside. We'll get in that way. It's about 6 o'clock, 6.30. Hello, madam. Anyway, there's a chicken update. You reckon to that? 